what, what the mate is talking about. Did you cultivate any of those relationships from that movie? Um, yeah, me and Lorenzo still tight. Yeah. Me and Lorenzo still tight. The, the, the infamous old dog. The infamous old dog. <laughs> so we trying to, we, we, right now, we still trying to figure out something to do together right now. Like, we still keep in contact, still trying to figure out what to do. Um, me and Alan Hughes, uh, one of the uh, directors from the movie, we still, we still talking. We still talk. But yeah. the problem, the problem with the the, the filmmakers, man, is they want to cross over so bad that it, 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 that's their that's the whole problem with black filmmakers. They want to cross over so bad that they don't know that they look powerful when they stay with their own the when they give the movies to us. You know what I mean? Right, right. I, I always thought that your strength lies in making people come to you. It's almost like trying to do business. Yeah. And if you're trying to do business, if somebody's you coming to me, then. Right. That gives I got leverage. Right. If I'm trying to go to you, then you know I'm on shaky ground. Right. Yeah. So I guess a minute. It's been so long. I guess a minute two is out of the question. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind. Of, it's kind of out of the question because you just don't want to. You, you you just don't want to mess. You just don't want to mess with it. Yeah. It's a classic. And you know when you try to mess with something like that it just gotta really it just i don't want to mess with it i yeah i just don't want to do out I, I i did it i don't think you could ever be top i don't want to fuck with it right 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 <laughs> yeah i, I feel that because i i'm not a i'm not a big fan with remaking classics right even with music i don't right. like remaking classics every now and then somebody will come to me and want to remake one of our classics and like I'll be like, if you, yeah, I'll be like, if you want to do that and you're bringing something different to the table, that's fine. But I'm not going to. Right, do that. right. You know, I'll I'll come in as a feature or whatever. If you're bringing some, a whole different dynamic and you're, you're bringing something like PWA, like the Fifth Ward Boys did right. with PWA. Right. They, they, they made PWA based off of one of my uh, songs from my first album. Right. So I was like. You know, I heard the vibe. I was like, "Yeah, okay, that's dope. That's right. You know, that sounds like something that you can hear it, and you don't even think about the other song. You're thinking about this song. Sounds fresh. It sounds real. Sounds natural. Right. You were talking about your cousin earlier, who took you to the audition. Whatever happened to him? He's dead. That was my um. Uh, it was it was one of my it, it was one of my um. His name was Tom Thomas Blinko um. He got uh they they tied him up and and shot him execution style like and um this happened in ninety six he he um yeah he took me to when he took me there it's 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 crazy because when he took me there when I um after I did the movie we kind of like it's not that we got distant it was just more like you know how you get busy you doing your thing but you and your other nigga doing this thing ain't nothing wrong you y'all still the love is still there but you, you kind of not looking. At each other the same way, like you're not really paying attention to, to him no more. You know what I'm saying? And shit got out of hand, and, it's, it's, and they, he, they they killed him in a, in a in a weed house. They um tied him up and shot him up. Him and his girlfriend. Wow, that that the love was still there, but was do you think that there was perhaps some resentment that you made it and you were leaving him behind? Because I I experienced that. I. It, it it wasn't that it wasn't even leaving them behind. It's just that you just be forgetting. It's like, like I, in, in my neighborhood, I was always the nigga saying, hey "Man, don't drink, don't smoke, don't do this." And but then when people get rebellious, niggas be telling me I'm doing too much. Like, man, you gotta let niggas learn. So right. I just was like, damn, maybe I am trying to be the big brother too much, or maybe I'm doing too much. And then when you let your foot off the pedal, then something bad happened. You be like, fuck, why I just didn't keep doing what I was doing? Right. So I just feel like he was rapping. He was signed to Eric Sermon. Um, he was finna, He was he was trying to do music, but he was trying to sell weed at a time when, in L.A. back in the '90s, like nigga, that's when nigga was getting robbed, like for real. Like back in, you know, well back in the day, man, it was this this new shit was different from when we was coming up, man. Nigga was getting fucked over. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, when you talk about 
the cast members from from the Menace movie, I think about Jada. There's no way possible you can <laughs> exclude Jada Pinkett, right? Oftentimes, actors fall in love with their on screen love interest. Right. Was there anything, was there ever any type of chemistry there with you and Jada? She was beautiful as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't help but not fall in love with something like that. Like if she everybody on set was like, just stop, just you can't look in her eyes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, I was I was young, so I'm like, why is she looking at me like that? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'm, I'm young. She yeah. in the character, you think she in the you. Yeah. <laughs> and, and man, she, cause she <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause the kisses are real. Right. Everything everything is, you know, you gotta really sell it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, but uh, the chemistry was really there. Um did I fall in love with her? No, but I knew she was beautiful and I and, and she, you know, she was beautiful enough to fall in love with. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But right. yeah. But you got to understand that she was new. You know what I'm saying? So we, in a way, you know, we put each other on the map. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't right. like, this was new love. So nobody had ever seen her like that. Right. So to the, when the world seen her, she was Kane's girl. You understand what I'm saying? So it wasn't right. like that. It's just now that we look at it and niggas like willed and snatched her up and stuff like that. But she was she was made off of what we did and, and on that screen. That's when people start taking a look at her. Right, that's true. That's true. It was. I'm trying to think. Did she do that? Did she do Menace first, or did she do that? Different, was, different world. No, no, no. It was a movie that she shot in Houston. Jason lyrics. She did Menace first. Jason's lyrics, right? Yep, she did Menace first. Menace okay. Was her first movie. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hey, walk me through the the drama that happened on the set with Tupac and the the directors, uh, Albert and Alan uh, Hughes. Uh, I know that, I heard you tell a story one day, and that's why I want to hear it, because <laughs> even though it was serious, it was funny as hell the way you explained how it went down. <laughs> hey. <laughs> and I, I like the, I like, you know, just for the benefit of the audience, can right. you like, can you like uh, run that back? So you wanted from where when when the, when the nigga ran off the freeway or where you wanted that like? I didn't hear the story about the running off the okay, freeway, so, so I like I, I like it from there. So so this what happened. So Tupac was supposed to be in the movie Minister Society, right? But he didn't like the role of Sharif, right? Like, and Sharif was the was the, the Muslim guy. Was the Muslim? So we right. we on the we 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 all reading that Tupac just got an attitude, man. What the fuck is this? Like, I can't I can't get into this shit. I can't get into this character, man. I, like, I don't understand what's going on. So at this time, and I've been, I'm being, I, don't, I don't, I don't know this nigga Tupac like that. Niggas don't be understanding like this nigga Tupac. <laughs> yeah, this shit is funny as hell, man. <laughs> you tripping? You like who is this nigga? You yeah, I, I'm just being like, who is this nigga? I don't know this nigga. Like, yeah. okay. Why is he doing all this shit? You know what I'm saying? He hyper and shit. I mean, who is this nigga, man? Right. I'm, I'm, the movie, my, I'm, I'm playing Kane. So Tupac coming to the thing, and he's just starting all this commotion. And I don't want the film to go away, nigga. I didn't just drove the fucking car with no brakes to get this motherfucking movie. And here comes Tupac acting a fool. I'm like, man, somebody, somebody got to figure this shit out. So, you know, so Alan, we on, we on the, um, in the room. What we uh rehearsing and Alan said, Tupac, nigga, stop acting like a bitch. You acting like a bitch right now, nigga. Stop acting like a bitch. Let's go outside. So Tupac and Alan go outside and talk, and Tupac never came back in. So at that point, I they fired Tupac. Okay. So we doing Trigger's Got No Heart video. Tupac come up there. He but I, the Hughes brothers ain't there yet. He just come up there, he give me dab and the whole nine whiz cool, whatever. I'm thinking he just been cool. So as we're filming the video, there's a fight going on that way down the hill. Nobody, we just like, God, what's going on down the hill? What the fuck going on down the hill? So as we, so we stop recording and we start to, as we start to migrate down the hill, we see a gang. Niggas fighting in the whole nine. And I'm like, oh, nigga, what's happening? Like, who we... 
what's gonna happen? So we go down the hill and I just hear nigga Tupac just like, nigga, next time you fire motherfucker, nigga, you fire nigga, you fire nigga like a man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I seen Albert Hughes, which was one of the, which is Albert Allen's brother. He just running toward a freeway, eastbound. He just gone. It's not. He left the brother. So as so I'm looking. I didn't get down there in time. Now mind you, I did not know Tupac was Tupac at the time, and Allen is my nigga. So I'm gonna go down there, nigga. I, it's niggas on. I don't give a fuck. I don't know this nigga like that. See, mm -hmm. this is Tupac before he was famous. This is what niggas don't understand. I'm not talking shit about Tupac. I'm saying at this time he was just a regular ass nigga to me. Right. So. The brother ran off to the freeway, left his other brother. Um, Tupac got Tupac and his homeboys jumped out. Allen, they did not fight one on one. Allen wanted to fight. I, I just got to be honest. Allen wanted to fight him head up. They didn't fight head up. They jumped him. And then what happened after that? After the, after they jumped him. Allen was beat up. The brother was somewhere. We had to find him on the on, on the Highland Freeway somewhere off Kawanga, some motherfucker where they had to go find him. He ran so motherfucking far. Um, Wait a minute. You talking about Albert ran? Albert left his brother. Yeah, he ran. Okay. Oh, you didn't know what, what who I was saying that ran? No. No, yeah, yeah. Albert ran. Okay. Soon as the soon as the niggas jumped out the car, Allen went toward a freeway eastbound. Right. Allen stayed there. Allen stayed there. Allen stayed there and wanted to fight Tupac head up, but Tupac and some other niggas from, um, uh, what they were from forties. They were from, uh, I think they were from from forties. They jumped him. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And by by the time anybody could really get into it, they are already left because they knew we were filming a video up at the top of the mountain. Right. So Allen had already got beat. The brother had already ran off. And it was over. And Tupac, they jumped. All you hear is car doors. <laughs> Niggas just bumped out. What the talking about?